Camp Aaron is all about helping to support kids through their grief journey. And we start with everybody coming up and having a chance to come together. Camp Aaron is named after Aaron Metcalf. Now, Aaron Metcalf is a very, very special young woman who has died. And she was really, really concerned that when she died, what was there for her younger siblings, her sisters? What, what did they do? How could they hang out with other kids? And her dream was to create Camp Aaron. She has touched the lives of thousands and thousands of young people through all the different camp errands. And how cool is that? You are part of a huge community. It's all about having fun. That's our number one priority here at Camp Aaron. One of our first activities that we do with everyone is we have torn pieces of cloth and we actually join them together and make this beautiful surrounding we kind of feel torn apart when we're dealing with our grief and here we're coming together to really talk about it and realize that we're not alone. We did something called a memory wall and what we had asked kids to do was to create a frame and on that frame was a picture of their loved one and they had the opportunity to come up and share who the person was that had died, how they had died, and even to sometimes share a favorite memory. For some, it was their first time actually coming up and sharing their story. When we woke up Saturday, we had a packed full day of lots of grief activities. We had some fun activities. We had archery and mini golf. had craft area. The important parts there were making a memory box. The memory box was to be able to put all of their things that they had created from camp, but also to have just a memento of their loved one. The rock climbing gave the kids an opportunity to maybe try something new that they've never done before. And also building that courage again to be able to climb up to the top and to be supported. And that's a huge part of people going through a grief journey is that support. We also had a grief walk, which took us through the forest. One of the really cool things that some of the kids got to try was closing their eyes and, and being guided. And sometimes that's how we feel with our own grief. then had canoeing with courage. So we had all of the kids travel out on the water together and really talking about grief as a journey and about courage. Our evening 
really finished off with probably our most powerful event, and that was our luminary ceremony. It was all set up with all of the luminary bags that all of the kids had created. and they got time to reflect, really sit with those feelings of grief. So it was one of the things that a lot of kids talk about as being one of the most powerful and important events that they do here. We woke up this morning and we had a few other activities that were also important for our grief activities. We had a drumming circle and the great part with that is that the kids got to drum out their feelings. We had a continuing bonds exercise with play. We asked them to create something that represented themselves and also their loved one. And then we put them together so that it wasn't very easy to be able to pull it apart. And that was the whole analogy. 